Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Grapplers Academy. And this week we're back with the prequel to the submission <laughs> series, which is actually going to be a pass. So we're working from half guard today. Um, and sometimes, like a lot, a lot of the difficulty in half guard is somebody who's got a good defence on the back is dealing with a good knee shield. Yeah, it can be very difficult to pass. And leg lace is an option, sitting back's an option. But if the if, if the opponent on the bottom is able to apply good pressure with the the knee shield, it can be very difficult to pressure in. And I think I see a lot of people make the mistake of going directly forward, whereas we've got a nice angle to cut around, so why not yeah, let's use that? It's sort of like going around the wall rather than trying to break your way through Exactly, it. so going with the flow with the movement rather than trying to fight against where your opponent's strongest, let's go to the point where the weakest and cut the corner on it. Definitely. Let's quickly talk about the position that we're discussing first and then we'll change the position around and go through the, the full series on the technique. So, you know, uh, really common position, in grappling is to end up like this, whether you know, you're know playing against a guy who's got a uh, leg game, he's uh, diving in for that inside control or coming in for a deep half guard or something like this. And a lot of the times, you know, just pressuring in like this isn't going to work because they've either got a low tight knee shield on the hip or it's high and up on the shoulder. And going straight against this isn't going to work. Uh, this is very strong and it's just that we're basically creating a triangle with his leg. And as we all know, a triangle is the strongest position and it's really difficult to break down that shape. So going straight in on that is not going to work. Um, what we're going to do instead is go around the corner. Let's quickly show from this angle and then we'll spin around and have a look at it in more detail. When I'm thinking the direction that I want to go on this, I'm almost thinking about bringing my armpit over his closest hip the one that's closest to me on the upside of the knee shield but I also need to make sure that I get this knee past so I'm going to do two things in the action of this and this angle is the easiest to see I'm going to put my knee close into his hip and I'm going to put my armpit over the top of that hip so in a position here we're going to step and sit back so that our back is to our opponent and we start to then shuffle up and occupy the space with our hip close to his armpit so once again from that angle, just a quick introduction on that movement and then we'll go in further detail. So we're here, pushing against him is not going to work because it's a strong base. I'm going to put my knee in his hip and I'm going to bring my armpit over his other hip as I turn the corner and go around his defence. Best thing to do from here also is sit your weight back so you're almost chest up and facing your weight. Because what, you, what your opponent's going to try and do here is either split their legs and try and bridge you or they might try and wrap your upper body up um, and start pulling you down in this way. So we just want to get heavy pressure in and back your hips up. So we've got pressure on the torso so it's difficult for them to sit up. If he does decide to split his legs, this could be an opportunity I'm waiting for. Right, now I'm passed into side control. But we've got a couple of other nastier options and I'm just going to show you one small detail on this this week. So I'll spin around the... Uh, let's go that way for this. So we know the way that we're going to pass around the knees on this and the next bit of the, the move is going to capitalise on this arm being up because oftentimes what your opponent's probably going to do to stop you from turning on the hip is try and block and push at your hips. So as we're turning the corner, Sai's doing a good job of blocking here but if we get our weight up and get our armpit deep enough over the side of his body what I can do is I'm turning is swim back around and guide his armpit or guide his tricep underneath. So essentially we've got his arm trapped underneath the head while still securing a strong position here. This is quite uncomfortable if we can get a lot of pressure down on him. Um, and it might encourage him to split the legs and then we can go for a pass where we still retain a good strong position here. We've got a lot of different options from this. The main one and the funniest one to do is just clasp the hands together and apply a lot of pressure down and start to make it uncomfortable for them so they start to give you opportunities to move. We've got a couple of different back takes that we can do and a few different submissions from there but we're going to go through that on different weeks because there's a few different important details on this that you should practice first before going into the submission. But the main concept of the idea and the thing that you should take away is don't go directly into your opponent's strongest defence. If there's an opportunity to go around it, do that instead. Another key point as well, um, when you're re when you rewatching this, is to watch where Bond's hips land um, in relation to my chest and armpit as well. He's trying to land high up in the torso, keeping his center of keeping his base nice and strong in that position. Whereas I've seen it where people fall either too far away from the body or 
try and replace where the knee is with the hip and it doesn't work or doesn't work as well. So try and keep that base nice and strong as well. Yeah, in those situations as well, like we were saying before, it's easy to get bridged and your opponent can continue the momentum of you coming around the angle. If they're good with the timing and bridge through, if you don't get high enough up on the chest and you're too low down on the hips on their, on their power, um, source of power with the hips. Like hips are the strongest bit of the body, we want to get away from them pretty much as much uh, as often as we can. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, just re-watch on the details of where my hips land as we're coming through. But um, we've got a couple of submissions and uh, different positional takes that we're going to take and build on from this in the coming weeks. Um, but otherwise, go and check out the other videos in the actual submission series, not the prequel to submissions. <laughs> um, especially size nasty unlock submission yeah. from the other week. Uh, we're going to basically be trying to put as many nasty submissions on your training partners yeah. as we can. Seems as though we're going to be getting back into training as soon as possible. Get quite gnarly with it. Yeah. Make, make, uh, get those rough rounds in as well for those first few weeks. <laughs> Should be all right. Go back and make friends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and other than that, go and follow us on uh, all the social medias at the Grapplers Academy. Uh, we've got the podcast uh, coming out this week as well. Um, so you can download that on all your uh, podcasting platforms, as well as go watching the video on YouTube if you want to see our faces even more through the week.